Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today's February 27th, 2015. We're on Hilton Head Island in the community of Squires Gate, just off of Squire Pope Road, near the back entrance to Hilton Head Plantation. Squires Gate is a small community of older homes and economy homes that uh, are like this one, 21 Squires Gate Road, that has just been listed with Go Gated Realty at 2099. Now those of you who have been shopping homes on Hilton Head Island and possibly in Bluffton know that there's just not many homes in and around $200,000 for sale. So this is an exciting new listing. It has been renovated. It has three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, a one-car garage, uh, it has a, a, a yard which is about a third of an acre. Let's just look around the neighborhood and get a feel for this very quiet area. Now the community is uh, very popular with uh, people who live and work on Hilton Head Island. Uh, certainly with retirees. There are families with children so it's a very diverse neighborhood. Very quiet and close to the bridge to Hilton Head Island from Bluffton. So anyone who would live in Squires Gate, this Squires Gate community, can easily get to the south end of the island via the Cross Island Expressway or Mid Island or across the bridge to Bluffton or even on to Savannah, Georgia, I suppose, without too much difficulty. It's a convenient location. And you can see mature trees here, very popular economy neighborhood. Now we have a uh, asphalt driveway and a one car garage. Before we go on though, I'll just tell you again, my name Richard Kadish, it's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. And Go Gated Realty is a federally registered trademark. So let's continue. This house uh, has rough sawn, a rough sawn cypress exterior and uh, there have been renovations and improvements inside that I think you're going to like. A wood floor in the living room, dining room, and kitchen area. You have a propane range and fireplace. And again, three bedrooms, two baths. They've all been renovated. We have traditional wood windows and a covered front uh, door uh, area here out of the weather. Let's go in and take a look. We have a wood front door with a cut glass panel. And by the way, this house does have a tenant who will occupy uh, this weekend uh, with a 90-day lease and a month-by-month -month extension. And uh, at the moment, however, there is no electricity on in the house. So we're seeing this all in the natural daylight. It's about 11 a.m. here on the 27th of February. And we're, we're here in the foyer. Here's the foyer hallway to the left that takes us then to the hallway to the left down to our bedrooms. We're going to start over here. This is looking across the dining area to the kitchen and our living room. This house has some, uh, some interesting uh, architectural features to it. We have flat ceilings. As I told you, there's renovations that include these, uh, the new lighting fixtures, the uh, kitchen cabinets, and so forth are newer. The wood floor is beautiful. And many people like wood. Behind me here is the entrance to our one-car garage where the laundry is also located. We'll go out there in just a minute. Let's start over here in the kitchen with the wood floor. And we have the countertop, which is kind of like an island at the same time. You see it's open, just like new generation homes are, to the living room. And you have the oak cabinets with the natural stain. 
And this is a propane range. The community is not gas, but there is a propane tank outside. And the propane tank fuels this range, as well as the fireplace, which has gas logs. We do have a formica top here on the countertop with a, a wood edging. It's kind of like a uh, artificial granite, has a granite type pattern, but it is actually formica in perfect condition. This house was owner occupied until just the last couple of years and the owner uh, moved out to another location in the South Carolina Low Country, uh, rented the house now for the last couple of years and now has decided to sell the house. We have our microwave oven built in, the GE oven built into the cabinets, good, good cabinets, and uh, you'll notice the tile backsplash behind the countertop. Looking good, double stainless sink, it's deep, with the traditional wood casement window over our sink. Lots of cabinets here. Dishwasher is beside and next to the kitchen sink where it should be and then over here we have our side-by-side -side refrigerator. These are all GE appliances. You have the indoor dispenser for your water and ice, which is both, uh, excuse me, this is a hot point uh, refrigerator, but that's for your uh, energy savings as well as convenience. Now this would be your dining area here. And it's open to the living area. Excuse me, we're in the living area, my mistake. This is the dining area here between the kitchen and the foyer wall there. There's your dining area. And I'm standing in the living area. I'm gonna back over to the far side here. And this is a, a good area with a sloping roof. Again, a flat ceiling and two skylights letting light into this area and additional lights along the vertical wall, the high vertical wall. And you can see again with no electricity on in the house today, uh, you get good natural light even here on a just kind of an average day of February 28th. And let's just take a quick look out to the backyard. We have these double glass doors that open up to a concrete patio. And just a natural yard here. By that I mean it's, uh, it's not a lawn that requires lawn care. It's just natural pine straw and cleared out. That's the way the owner <laughs> likes it. And you have a little bit of a drainage swale around the periphery of the lot here for good drainage. And pretty good privacy all the, right, well, all the way around. And there is a chain link fence that runs across the back of the yard there in that, uh, in that foliage. I've talked to the neighbors, they love the neighborhood. I've known uh, people who have lived in this neighborhood and uh, very popular, very popular neighborhood, very safe, clean. I've never heard anything bad about this neighborhood. Here's a closer look at our fireplace with the tile facing and the gas logs and the tile hearth and then with the wood vertical fluted element with the uh, Woodwork coming across, giving you a mantle and a good place to hang your favorite piece of art over your fireplace. And then your electronics are over here on this back wall where you can plug up your television. And this is our living room then from the dining area where I'm standing. And once again, our kitchen all open to one another the way that a new generation home would be. And yet you are separated from your bedroom area. Well, just around this foyer wall, now looking back towards our entrance door, and now down the 
center hallway we have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Now the first uh, door on the left here is our full bathroom and again uh, just uh, no, no electricity on to show it to you but you do have a tile floor with a soft brown color your thermofoil cabinet with your cultured marble top and integral basin a good uh, medicine cabinet there with some glass shelves and attractive hall light, uh, wall light rather and then you do have the beadboard here in the bathroom around and even in this dim light we are able to see quite a bit well less here but you do have a deep soaking tub and that is real tile. A tile surround there that goes right on up to the ceiling. And I must say that without electricity, I'm happy to be able to show you at least this much. There's a recess there under the shower head for your soap and so forth. So it really is a, a, a nice bathroom. Your uh, carpet out here is a Berber carpet. Our first bedroom on the right could be a den. You have flat ceilings in this house, ladies and gentlemen, and good closet space. Your window coverings are all here. Your window blinds are here and included. Bifold doors and your main doors are both paneled. You do have crown molding. There's a lot of extras in this house. So even though it is an older house, it's, it's on concrete. It's on a concrete slab. So you have a solid foundation under your feet, no crawl space, no problems there. And the house is warm and quiet. And I don't know what the, uh, the annual HOA is here in Squires Gate. I have to check on that, but it's, it's either nothing or it's very little. So, for those of you who are not looking for a large house, and by the way, I don't think I've said so, but the actual living space in this house is 1,274 square feet. <coughs> Excuse me, the total square footage, including the garage, is 1,710, but that's including your uh, one-car garage. Good uh, closet uh, shelving in this bedroom. Again, you'll save money on your window coverings. They're already here. Flat ceilings, crown molding, ceiling fans in place. This is our second bedroom. <coughs> Sorry. And here's our master bedroom. Now, it may be that lime green is not for you. <coughs> well, we won't worry about that because we know we can always paint the walls. But they are cheerful. Now here's our master bedroom with the uh, closet there, with the mirrored door. Once again, flat ceilings, ceiling fan, and crown molding. And our private bathroom here has the shower with the framed glass sliding door. Once again, we have the, the real tile floor with the soft brown color that people like. And we have a thermal foil cabinet, cultured marble top with the integral basin, the brushed metal hardware, simple wall mirror, lovely wall light, glass shelving, similar to that smaller hallway bathroom that we saw. <coughs> now this uh, bathroom has wallpaper, which looks to be in good shape, uh, pleasant pastel colors. And that is a fiberglass shower behind that sliding glass door there and with a seat and a step and a bar there. Everything looks to be in very good shape. As I said, this was owner occupied up until just a couple years ago and now for sale at 2099. 2099. This is our master bedroom. Well, let's go see the garage really quickly and then we'll finish up. I'll give you my contact information so that we can, so that you can reach me. Again, this is the garage. Now it's carpeted in Berber. 
The owner, when he and she were here, the owners, used this just for storage. And they didn't put their car in here, but of course you can bring your car into the garage either with or without this Berber carpet. You can see your washer and dryer is there, uh, backing up to the kitchen wall. That is included, all your appliances stay. There's an automatic door opener here for the garage on the ceiling, and this is where your attic access is with the drop-down stairway. This is what is called a finished garage, which is to say it is all sheetrocked. And you also have a little wash bin out here in the garage. And your door to your service yard is here with the glass panel. And that's where your heat pump is located. Your propane tank is on the side of the house for your range and your uh, fireplace. And then here's your water heater in the garage. So really a pretty nice house, in my opinion, for 2099, uh, right on Hilton Head Island in a really quiet residential area, very popular residential area. Well, to, to talk more about this house and about the kind of house that, that you're looking for, please call me. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H and my company, Go Gated Realty. My cell number is 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. So uh, please let me hear from you. This is uh, really a great little house, 2099. And again, with uh, 1,274 heated and cooled space on about a third of an acre, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 21 Squires Gate Road. And please, please call me or email. Let's get acquainted about what you're looking for. And uh, I have 39 years of Hilton Head Island real estate experience to help you compare and to uh, uh, find just the right house for you. This might be it. Please let me know. Again, thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure to show you this house at 21 Squiresgate Road on Hilton Head Island.